Hello, my name is Dez and welcome to another MixedLessons.com video quick tip. Uh, today I want to talk about subtractive equalization and how you can use this to improve your mixes. Uh, let's have a listen first to the, uh, the piano part from a, from a tune I've used before um, called Purple Sweat by the new confusion. Uh, I want to talk about subtractive EQ and this is the method that I suggest that you use when you're uh, uh, equalizing your tracks. Check it out. Have a listen first. Okay. What I want to do is I want to I want to solo that piano part there and uh, and have a listen to um, uh, the frequency spectrum. And what I'm going to do is boost my EQ and sweep back and forth until I find an area in the sound that I'm unhappy with, that I find unpleasant. And then we want to cut that. So have a listen. Right in there, if you listen, that's, that's the area of the frequency spectrum that makes the piano sound muddy and indistinct. So what I'm going to do is simply cut that. I'm going to drop that down a couple dB here, maybe 4 dB. Let's hear it without. Just going to move forward in the tune a bit. Bring it back in. You can hear that, eh? So what I've done there is essentially find the thing you don't like and remove it. This is the method that I recommend that you practice for a couple of reasons. One, subtractive equalization um, is better for your gain staging. In other words, if you boost uh, frequencies that you do like, what you're doing is you're making your tracks louder and eventually you run the risk of um, losing all of your headroom and clipping your two mix, your, your stereo bus. So it's a more, I, I suppose, safe method to find the sound, the frequency that you don't want and cut it instead. Um, this essentially has the same effect of boosting the frequencies that you do want. If you happen to lose volume because of a significant cut, you can simply just bump that track back up again in the mix a little bit by a dB or two and uh, regain the, uh, the volume that you lost from the cut. So this is another little mix tip and I hope you find it useful. As mentioned, MixLessons.com is part of the Tech Muse Academy. To learn more about the Tech Muse Academy or to subscribe to the Tech Muse podcast, visit www.techmuse.ca.